Hey guys, it's Joanne. Happy Mail Stamper here. Um, I just wanted to come on and make a card with you guys. So the card that we're going to make is from the Stampin' Up! Home to Roost um, Clink Stamp Set. This is a item you can get from Celebrations. Um, you can get this free with a $50 purchase. And it's got the rooster, um, I don't know what that's called, some wheat grass maybe. And then it's got a few few different sentiments on there, okay? Um, here it is in the Celebrations catalog, um, free with a $50 purchase. And then it gives you some ideas for cards. So I kind of stole that one, and that's the one that we are going to work on today. Okay, so I have everything already cut out. Um, we're starting off with our card base, which is Pineapple Punch. That's the color. And we just took an eight and a half by 11 sheet, cut it long ways, and then we have our A4 card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter, okay? Then we took, this is Stampin' Up's galvanized metal paper silver and then I just took um my embossing uh my embossing folder which I didn't pull out to show you guys hang on hang on hang on okay it's this one here it's um the tin tile dynamic is what it's called and look it looks just like those backsplashes in some kitchens my kitchen actually has this backsplash wasn't too crazy about it at first, but I'm liking it even more now. Okay, so we use that, we ran it through the big shot, and we come out with this silver paper. And then our next piece um, is cut to four and a half by three and a quarter. All right, so this piece here, we're gonna stamp with, I used our soft suede. This is from the neutral color collection. And we're gonna take our grass, wheat grass, we'll call it, stamp. This is the new cling stamps. Um, you can now put the picture on the back and they're nice and sticky, but not too sticky. I know a lot of people are complaining about them, but I don't really find any issue with them. Okay, so all I did was we're gonna stamp, ink up our grass, and then I stamped it a little, higher up because we're going to put a sentiment and some embellishments on there all right so we're going to do it three times i think the one in the middle a little higher up and then we're going to stamp it one more time on the end and it doesn't matter if it overlaps and comes off the side of the card like that all right then what i did i took my dauber and still using the soft suede I just kind of took, and you know what, I'm going to go over, do this on a piece of paper here so I don't get ink all over my board. And I just took the dauber and just kind of rubbed it, rubbed it around. And you got to be careful not to stop too suddenly because then you get those little dots there. So we'll just try and go over those and just ink it up. And I did this on the whole, whole piece. Again, not such a pro with the dauber here, but it doesn't look too bad. Okay, and then I just take my finger and kind of rub it a little bit, but maybe we can just rub a little harder. Okay, because we're just shading it. But we want it to be a little bit even. So just keep rubbing. Okay, to get the whole thing covered. And then I just took the dauber again and then just ran down the sides to kind of darken up the sides. Okay, we'll do all four, four sides. Just gives it a nice distressed look. And a little more dimension. Okay, so that's that. And we'll put that over here and then 
we're done with our, well, you know what? While we have our stamp pad out, let's stamp our sentiment. So I'm going to take this one off. And we use, what did I use? Well, you know what? We used just a note on that one. Maybe we can use a different one on this one. Um, how about thanks for your friendship? And that's this one here. Okay, so we're just gonna pull that out. We haven't used that one yet, so I'm gonna pull off. Yeah. See, I do have a hard time getting these off of here. Okay. And then this, this first piece, the thicker piece comes off. Okay, and then things for, okay, and it's gonna go like this. So then we're just gonna line this up and it does have um, the piece of paper split, so you can just open up half of it. Make sure you line it up. You don't really have more than one chance to get this right. And then just pull the rest of the backing off. It's like a Band-Aid. Okay, that's on there. Not too bad, all right? So now you can see it'll stay It'll stick right into your case, and then you can see in the back what it is, what stamp you're looking for. All right, so let's put that here. And then we're gonna, hopefully this will fit. Okay, so I just cut a, a tag from the rectangle stitch framelits. Okay, these are fairly new to Stampin' Up! Um, and look at how many you get. All right, what do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different sizes um, of the rectangles stitched on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. If you look here along the edges, excuse my nails, guys. I have to get them done so that and my, well, I'm not gonna get them done, but, but they're so dry and they're cracking and the skin's cracking, it's terrible. All right, so let's stamp our sentiment. Oh, we don't wanna do it upside down. Okay, we're gonna kind of, maybe we'll put it over to the right a little bit. Okay, now I have that all cleaned up. I stamped the rooster onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and then I just used the Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils to color him in. So I think it looks kind of cute, right? The blues and the reds. And then I just took a little bit of the Wink Estella and ran that over his tail feathers. All right, so now let's put this let's put this baby together. All right, so I'm going to use my snail adhesive, and we're going to just oh, oh. it's like a blooper reel here, huh? Run some along here. Okay, and then we're just going to fix this to the galvanized paper as centered as we can. Okay, so we like everything centered. Then we're going to take our rooster and we're going to put him down. Okay, and actually I did that wrong guys because we want to raise the rooster up. So we're going to use a couple of dimensionals, which why can't I find them? Did I put those away too? Okay. So we're gonna use a couple of dimensionals to raise the rooster. From there, from there. And we'll put one more here. Okay, just take those off. Okay, and we'll put him up here. With the dimensionals. Now we're going to take some of um, our burlap ribbon and run some snail adhesive along here and fix that right about there okay and then we're going to just trim the edge 
just trim it straight across. All right, and then this side. Straight across, and then I'm just gonna fray the ends a little bit, just kind of separate them out, make them look a little more rough. If you just pull on it, then you get some strings, and we'll just cut those all off, okay? And do the same thing on this side. Just pull some of the string and then it'll fray. All right, and then we have our sentiment. Thanks for your friendship. And I think on this one, these are the Gingham Gala sequins. So I'm just going to take two of these. My scissor. I'm just going to put two of them on here on the sentiment. All right, and then we're going to use a little more snail adhesive. Along there. And then we're going to put that right about so. And there you have it. No, no, you don't. <laughs> you almost have it. We gotta put it on here. So we're just gonna take some more. This is the first bit of this I'm using, so I don't know how long this roll lasts. And then that, let's get all our strings away. That we'll, we'll put onto our card base. Again. Nice and straight, because nobody likes a crooked card. And put it all together, and there we have it. Thanks for your friendship, rooster card. Cute, right? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back soon with another one. Take care.